welcome back in this video we will explore the steps component form and design we will see how we can render the steps then we will see how to render the uh, step title vertically and then we will see how to add the click functions on the steps and then we will see based on the changing the steps how to render uh, different elements like form or something uh, below that and then we will see how to change the steps into dots then we will see how to add the subtitles along with the title of the step and also we will see how to add the details uh, for the step and then we will see how to add how much progress as, uh, is completed for a particular step then we will see how to render the vertical steps and and the last we will see how to add the status on on a particular step so let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the steps component from and design and start using it so it be steps and inside the steps uh, we will be using the steps dot a single step right so either we can use like this way or we can destructure it uh, from the steps so that will be from the steps we are destructuring the step and instead of steps dot step we can use only the step right so it will be doing the same and for the step we can give it a title we can say there is a step that it has been finished and here you go it has added a step one and then we can say there is another step which is in progress we added two steps and we can say there is another step which is waiting state right so it has added three steps that uh, first the title of the first is finished the title of the second is in progress and the title of the third is waiting instead of uh, selecting the first step if we want the current step is the sec, sec, uh, step two uh, we can do that that using the uh, prop current and it start from the zero this this is one will be the zeroth one this is first and this is second so if we call the current is equal to one it will start the second one right okay so let's copy it and add a different variation of that so here you see uh, there is a step and then the, the title if we want the title to be uh, vertically aligned uh, with the step number we can do that as well so here we can say the label placement and there are two options horizontal that is right now and we can do that in the vertical as well here you go let's add a divider here if you need more information on the divider I have a separate video on that so I will add its link in the description below so that you can take a look okay so the steps with the horizontal label placement and steps with the vertical label placement right so right now if you click on any of these uh, it's not doing anything we can do that as well so here we can say on change so it will give us the current uh, step number on which user has clicked right so we can say so uh, uh, what we can do is instead of hard coding this current we can use a uh, user state to define the current selected step so it will be current and set current is equal to use state and default maybe we can say it's one and instead of this current we can say the current from the state and here uh, when user changes it we can say set current to be the C which is passed here right I save it still the same and now if you click on the third one it selected that one so user can change select on which step a user is 
or if, if we want to give the user uh, the option to select any of the steps the user can do that as well right okay so let's copy this once more so add a divider as well okay so right now you see uh, the steps are uh, written like one two three if we want to write as a dot we can do that as well so so it will be progress dot we can return it true so it will convert that into dots and instead of the just the dot we can even uh, render uh, our own component in the progress dot as well right so uh, also uh, just adding uh, here we, we are only adding the title we can add the subtitles as well so let's copy it once more along with the divider and let's remove this progress dot and along with the title we can uh, add the subtitle as, as well because we want to say uh, it's in progress and it will take two minutes right here you go we can add the, the subtitle as well so also along with the subtitle we can add m more details as well so suppose uh, on the third one we can add uh, the description uh, we can say it will initiate after step two right here you go on the third step uh, we have written a detail that it will initiate after the step two right and also uh, because it's in progress we can show the progress as well how much uh, it has been how much percent it is processed so we can add that as well here so we can say this was it is 50 percent so it was uh, it will add up the progress like that so if, if i change it to 75 it will go there right and also uh, uh, we learned that we can uh, label horizontally or vertically and also instead of the horizontal uh, steps we can show them uh, vertically as well so let's copy maybe the first one and paste that here add the divider at the top right and we can say their direction is instead of the horizontal their direction is vertical right so here you go so there, there will be uh, vertically aligned right and also because uh, some of the steps maybe we are, we are processing processing something and there could be some errors on that step we can show that as well so let's copy these steps uh, along with the divider and maybe in the horizontal direction and we can say suppose this was in progress and uh, its status either it's error finish or process so process will be like this one finish will be like this one and weight is like like this one and we can say that it is an error as well so this is how it will look like when it, there is an error on, on a particular step right so we can uh, add the status there so similarly instead of doing here we can add uh, the same in here as well so actually what it will be doing is it will be setting the current one uh, with uh, with this status so the current status is one so it will be saying that the current status has an error so it was the same if the suppose the current is the number two it will say this one has the error right so if it is second one it will say the the, the second step has an error right okay so we have seen that on uh, here on pressing of uh, these steps uh, we can save the value in our state and based on the state we can uh, do whatever we want so suppose we want to say when 
uh, when user is on this this particular uh, step we want to render something different different page here or a different form we can render that accordingly and when user is on different uh, step we can render uh, on different uh, different elements here right let's suppose in a div we want to say that uh, this is a step we can say current right here you go so zero one three right so here instead of this div we can render anything here we can render any form based on uh, the value user has selected based, uh, on the step right so that's it on exploring the steps component from end design if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you